How can a victim of mass crimes have recourse to justice? And how can we prevent atrocious crimes now and in the future? The world is taking action against atrocious crimes. With support of the international community, including civil society groups, countries worldwide created an international treaty in 1998. The countries ratifying the treaty started to grow, and it took effect in 2002, officially establishing the International Criminal Court, or ICC. The court is unique in that it was created by a treaty and not by the United Nations, which it cooperates with but remains independent from. The ICC tries individuals, not countries or organizations, for four crimes. Genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and, once the 2010 amendments to the Rome Statute take effect, the crime of aggression. Since the ICC was established in July 2002 and does not have retroactive jurisdiction, the ICC cannot address crimes committed before July 2002. The ICC has jurisdiction in these locations. First, on the territory of states' parties or countries that have accepted the ICC's jurisdiction. Second, in other countries if the crimes are committed by nationals of states' parties or countries that have accepted the court's jurisdiction. Third, in other countries if the crimes were referred to the ICC prosecutor by the United Nations Security Council pursuant to a resolution adopted under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter. The ICC does not try every case in these locations. Countries have the primary responsibility to do so. The ICC does not replace national courts but complements them. As a court of last resort, it only prosecutes cases when a country is unwilling or unable to do so genuinely. The ICC conducts work both in the courtroom and in the field and relies on cooperation with countries in order to fulfill its mandate, particularly for making arrests, transferring arrested persons to the ICC detention center in The Hague, freezing suspects' assets, and enforcing sentences. The Rome Statute created three bodies, the Court, the Trust Fund for Victims, and the Assembly of States Parties, which provides oversight management. The ICC has four organs, first, the Presidency, then, the Judicial Divisions, with 18 judges divided in three divisions, Pretrial, Trial, and Appeals. Third, the Office of the Prosecutor, which is an independent organ of the court and which conducts investigations and brings cases before the court. And finally, the fourth organ is the ICC's registry, which provides support so the court's work runs smoothly. The ICC exists to hold people accountable if they commit atrocious crimes, thus helping to prevent such crimes from happening again.